Well, you know what it is. It's a music box. But how does it work? The secret to the music box is the comb. I'm sure you've done this many times before. Flick the teeth of a comb and made music. You've probably noticed that the longer teeth give you a deeper note and the shorter teeth a higher note. Maybe you've even tried to play a tune on a comb. I'll try three blind mice. Only very approximately three blind mice. Trouble is, it's much more difficult than playing the notes on a piano because you're not sure which tooth you should pluck next. You have to approximate. If we could see a single tooth from a comb, it would be a bit like looking at a hacksaw blade. Watch this when I flick the hacksaw blade poking over the end of the table. It vibrates. Not only does it vibrate, but you can hear a note, a very deep note in this case, because it's making the air vibrate, which makes your eardrum vibrate, and that's why you hear sound. What if we make the vibrating part of the hacksaw blade shorter? Watch this. Make it shorter. You guessed it. The note is higher. You can even shorten the vibrating blade as it's vibrating, and you get a wonderfully strange effect. Watch this. Great fun to play with. Well, if you had a whole lot of hacksaw blades, maybe you could set up a comb made of hacksaw blades. I've done that here. Have a look. There we are, six hacksaw blades, and I've arranged them so that different amounts poke over the edge of the table. Now, I'll place a couple of pieces of cardboard over the top, very carefully, and then hold the cardboard in place by means of a ruler, pressed down firmly, and now we should be able to make sure that only the bits poking over the edge vibrate. Start with the long one, fairly deep note, and as they get shorter, the hacksaw blades give progressively higher notes. Let's try once again, three blind mice. Well, it's not perfect, but it's getting closer. If you want to make your own little musical instrument out of hacksaw blades, you can actually compare the notes, the notes on a piano, and when they're absolutely perfect and you're happy with them, hammer them in place onto a block of wood, and you'll have your very own hacksaw blade instrument. But what has this got to do with a music box? Surely there are not hacksaw blades in a music box. No, but there is a comb inside the music box, and here's one which I've removed from a music box. Have a look at that you can see that there are metal teeth and they vary in length. Now, I wonder if you can guess which ones will give us high notes and which ones will give us low notes. It's very easy from what you know now, isn't it? The longer teeth give you lower notes. The shorter teeth, high notes. But it's very difficult to play, even with a wooden skewer. What happens in the music box is that little comb is attached to a metal block usually, in this case by two screws, and there's a little drum which has lots of little knobs on it, and those knobs will actually pluck the teeth when you turn the handle. Well, here's one that's been put back together. There it is there. And if I wind the handle, see if you can recognize the tune. You can not only recognize the tune, but you can also see the teeth being plucked. Now, two things are needed for a music box, the comb and the program, or the little knobs, in this case on a drum. There is a third thing needed. See if you can guess what it is. I'll pick it up and go on playing. And you can hardly hear the tune, because the third thing, something to vibrate, is missing. It doesn't have to be the tabletop, which it was to begin with. It could be something like a glass. And in that case, the glass is actually vibrating or something as simple as an old empty cardboard box. It's acting as the resonating box. Well, what about the original music box? Does that have anything at all like that inside? Let's have a look. Wind it up because it has a clockwork motor. Open it up and have a look at that. Almost identical to the one we just looked at. There's the comb, 
There's the drum with the knobs on it, that's the program. And down there is the clockwork motor with a spring inside it and a handle on the back. So all those are in position. Music boxes are very old. Some of them have been around for hundreds of years. And we have one here, which was made in Germany over a hundred years ago. And it's called a polyphone. It used metal discs with hundreds of slots in and little bumps on the back. And the music box itself was made of beautiful inlaid polished timber and brass fittings. There it is, the polyphone. Now inside it contains some of the things you'd expect of a music box. A metal comb and little hammers that actually plucked the teeth of the comb. And also it had a clockwork motor and the box itself was the resonating chamber. Now the cunning thing about this music box is that you could get different discs for it and each disc was a program for a different tune. Let's say we want to play this tune. All we do is drop the disc in position, lock it in place, wind up the clockwork motor, pull out a little lever and you listen to your favourite tune. <laughs> 